Hello friends, welcome back. In today's episode, I'd like us to explore the second principle of wealth. Meanwhile, if you are not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button and hit the notification bell so you stay updated on every update on this platform. In today's episode, I'd like us to talk about the second principle of wealth. The second principle of wealth is desire. Desire is the starting point of all achievement in life. Let me say it again. Desire is the starting point of all achievement in life. I read a very popular scripture in Proverbs 18 verse 1. Scripture says that through desire, a man separates himself to seek intermediate with wisdom. Through desire. So desire is what sponsors the separation for inquiry. A man who desires to know, who desires to seek wisdom separate himself from the crowd because he had desire he had desire so desire is the starting point of all achievements in life there is no achievement that came through without a desire that sponsored that result that sponsored that pursuit any man you see in pursuit of anything in life first of all desired it first okay now the unfortunate part of my generation is that most young people um, are living in the realm of a dream they are living in the realm of hope what is called hope they are still hoping to achieve the results that they rule they truly subconsciously desire they have not engaged the power of desire desire is powerful it goes beyond just hoping or wishing this is why you must deliberately desire a thing first desire something now when i say desire in this context desire simply means obsession it, it means obsession mike mudok wrote in one of his book and i quote he says that whatever is not an obsession to you you cannot succeed in it you cannot succeed in what is not an obsession to you so when we say desire we are talking about obsession over something or someone are you truly obsessed about the results that you desire to see are you truly obsessed when a man is obsessed about something he can travel the distance of any time just to secure what he desires because he's obsessed he loves to see the results that he desire desire goes beyond wishing desire is obsession in this context i read about a man by the name thomas edison who tried his light bulb inventory over a thousand times before he succeeded guys what do you think will make a man try one thing over and over again over a thousand times before he succeed he finally succeeded it was because he had a burning desire desire is what sponsors pursuit an extraordinary pursuit that brings results when you read about the story of a woman in scripture called Esther, you will hear that Esther spoke to herself and said, I will go to the king, even though she knew that meeting the king without an invitation was going to be risky to her. Esther spoke to herself and said, I will go to the king and even if I perish, let me perish. And guys, you know what happened? She eventually succeeded. I read about another man who desired to become a business associate of Thomas Edison and he said to himself that he will burn down the bridge, he will burn down every other alternative, every voice of alternative just to become a business associate of Thomas Edison. Few years down the line, this guy became a business associate of Thomas Edison and was representing Thomas Edison all over the world. That's how powerful desire is. There is one lesson to learn about desire. Desire does not know alternatives. An obsession does not know any alternative. The reason why most young people cannot succeed in our time is because their desire is not strong enough. Their desire is not truly an obsession. Most people really just wish about things. So because they were only wishing for things, once they are confronted with the temporary defeat and challenges of life, they give up their dreams, they, they give up their goal, they give up their visions because they are not truly obsessed. When you are obsessed, you don't give up. When you are obsessed, you don't give up. You keep putting in the work until you see the results that you desire. You see, I read about a man who went on war with his army and weapons. They onboarded on a ship and traveled 
to their enemy's camp. On arriving at the camp, the, command, the commander looked at his army and, and instructed them to burn down the ships. So they went ahead and burned down every ship. And then he looked at them and said, Gentlemen, as you can see, we have burned down all our ships. That means if we must leave this camp alive, we must succeed. That's how powerful desire is. That's how powerful an obsession is. And they truly succeeded. They truly succeeded and, and every single soldier left alive because they had a desire. Guys, do you truly have a desire? Do you truly, are you truly obsessed about being successful? Most people would rather spend more time thinking about failure rather than desiring success. So I encourage you to reframe the, the, your desires. Begin to desire things positively. Begin to have obsessions over the things that you love to see in life. Now for most people, the reason why they will not succeed is because they don't have a specific desire. Desire doesn't know an alternative. And it's unfortunate that most people fail because they have too many alternatives. They have too many plan Bs. Okay? They now, they have, they have, every time they have a goal, they always have a second plan, a plan B. And plan B is the reason why you cannot succeed with your first plan. The voice of desire knows nothing outside what they really and truly desire. You cannot underestimate the power of desire. Desire, an intensive obsession over something or someone. Begin to engage these principles. Whatever you desire, be obsessed about it. When you are obsessed about it, it will, it will show all over you. Because it will eventually look like you know nothing outside this thing. Yes, that's how to succeed. That's how to succeed. You want to succeed with your finances? You must be obsessed. It's okay to be obsessed. You want to succeed even in your work with God? You must be obsessed about God for you to succeed in your work with God. And every other sphere of life. You want to succeed in every other sphere of life? Begin to have desire. A burning desire is what sponsors success. So guys, see you in the next episode where we'll explore another principle of wealth called faith. I wish you good luck.